Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I am here with July the 3rd's Off the Board with Pineapple Papers. And today I selected this sketch. And through the month I am hoping to use a bunch of sketches that have layouts um, set up like this that have a horizontal and a vertical picture because I have a bunch of different um, layouts that I want to get completed that have different um, directional pictures. So I am using my um, Obed Marshall. I have three different collections from him. I've got quite a bit of stuff still even though I've been using it a lot. Um, so I've got lots of ephemera here but I've already pulled some out. I've already picked up some papers and things and lots of things that I can still reach for. So I have my papers. I have my embellishments. I've got my pictures and then I have this pen from Pinterest. So let's see how this goes. So first things first, I'm going to use that dark green as my background paper because this is a matted layout and I've already gutted it because I believe this came from the Especial collection and it um, only had one of each. If it didn't come from Especial, it came from Fantastico. Either way, whichever one it was, only had one of each of the papers. Um, one of the collections I bought the paper pad and there were two of each and one had just one of each but there were a bunch of different papers and so this one just has I've only got one sheet of the screen paper so I went ahead and got it. If I had two I would have just used the other one. <laughs> so since I'm trying to not get it used up necessarily but I do want to get it used. So I have cut this paper down to I think it's 11 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter um, or right around 11 and somewhere in that ballpark and I am going to mat it on that green paper but first I want to build on here and I put that little coca-cola or soda um, bottle strip down the middle and then I have this really busy paper in the background that I'm just using since I got the background paper I wanted to go ahead and just use that full um, it looks like rainbows or glass or something like that and then I put the stars on the bottom so I am dry fitting a few things right now to see what I like and I am gonna adjust the way the pictures are I don't put them exactly how they are on the sketch but pretty close the concept is definitely there but in the bottom right corner of my larger picture is a cup like the top part of a cup and it's pretty distracting and so I want to cover that up so it's not like something you focus on because it's kind of like right there. So I want to get that covered up whether it's with an embellishment or by covering it up with that bottom left or bottom right picture. So I'm just fitting things out, seeing what I like and what I don't. Um, I would like to use up the majority of the things I've pulled. Um, I do fussy cut this camera. I have some puffy cameras that I'm going to use, but I wanted something that was non-dimensional because I've already got um, acrylics and puffies on here, and I didn't want any more dimension than I already had. And my idea was to put the this camera on top of the picture and frame, so it was already going to, you know, be. Um, up a little bit so I didn't want anything that was puffy or whatever to go on top of that and add to it so now that I have taped down everything with one uh, piece of tape in the back so that I can tuck things I have put a frame down on both the smaller pictures and they're the same frame but I'm gonna turn one of them so that the blue stripes are on the top now the frame does say smile on it and so where I've turned that one on the right picture I just made sure to put that love it right over where it said smile so that I'm not you can't tell that the upside down smile is there and I love the way that turned out I don't mind the picture being um, out underneath it um, it just gives that word love it somewhere kind of to sit so I'm okay with that and then on the other picture you can see the rest of the stack of chips that my son has built up um, and so um, now I am just going to embellish with all of these acrylics and puffies and flat cardstock stickers and I just took all the dice and uh, dominoes from the collections because I wasn't really sure whenever I would use those again um, we were not playing with dice we were playing Tripoli which is a card game and you use chips 
but um, I felt like a lot of people use dice when they, you know, play card games or play games. So this was a good time to do that and go ahead and use that stuff up. So I have all of those on here. And on the original sketch, there are florals in the um, clusters. And since I'm not using florals, I'm using cameras and dice and dominoes and things. I decided that I would just use all of those and kind of scatter them about. So it was more the concept of where the pictures were laying that I was going with than the theme with the florals and um, everything. So, and I do love the way that this turned out. And I got to use quite a bit of my ephemera, some word stickers. I built my title down here at the bottom. I do wish I had moved the word every day up a little bit to be like right underneath that picture so that it would all have fit on the um, layout without being on the border but that's okay and um so i am finishing up everything and then adding some of the buenos dias collection enamel dots and shapes i think i use circles and hearts on all of them and once i get done with that i am going to be done with this layout and i'm going to bring the sketch closer so that you can see it and then I will do a close-up of my layout. I hope that you all are checking out the off the board with pineapple papers. I am enjoying using my pens and getting things used up. Like I said, I pulled a ton of layouts that have vertical and horizontal pictures on them because I have a lot of different things that I wanted to get used. So you'll be seeing, I think, like 15 of those sometime throughout this month, maybe more. So I hope you'll come back and check those out with me and um, check out everybody else. And you'll see that that tag did not get covered, but I promise you, I'm about to put some Nouveau Deluxe on there and add a little enamel dot because you can't have a naked tag hole, y'all. That's just not how it works. So there's where I notice it and add some Nouveau Deluxe and then put a little circular shape right there to cover that up. And then that is going to be it. So like I said, I hope you're checking out Off the Board with Pineapple Papers. I think that we're doing a playlist. So come back and see me again really soon. Have a great day. I hope you get a chance to do something you love with someone you love. And happy scrapping.